be obvious, but at the same time, May United feel protected. They've been smart with the timing uh, to extend the contract of the boy months ago. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, time to clarify two things around Manchester United, something around Manchester City. Let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, let's start discussing about one of the most interesting talents at Manchester United. He's doing very well right now and his Kobe Maino is a very talented midfielder. He had a great impact against Everton, a very good midfielder with great potential. May United know that so well. People in the coaching staff, not just Eric Ten Hag, are really, really excited with the potential of this boy. He's great hard worker, uh, super professional, very talented. Obviously, the potential is there, but they love the way he shows his quality every single day in the training sessions. So the mentality is something very important for young players. And it looks like Kobe Maino has something special there for Manchester United present and future. And I say present and future because in the recent weeks we had rumors about Manchester City already planning to attack the situation of Kobe Maino and try to sign him for the future. What I wanted to say, guys, is that Obviously, all the top clubs, not just in England, but also in different countries, know this boy very well. It's absolutely normal for scouts to go around and know this kind of player. So, Kobe is very talented and obviously Manchester City people know him so well and other clubs too. It's absolutely obvious. But at the same time, May United feel protected. They've been smart with the timing uh, to extend the contract of the boy months ago because Kobe Maino is under contract till 2027 at Manchester United. And I can tell you that from what I'm told, there is also an option on club side. So protecting Manchester United to extend the contract for further season. So till 2028. So May United know that the length of the contract is protecting them on Kobe Maino situation. They know that they trust the player for present and future. So they're not worried about these stories about Manchester City. Obviously, in case Kobe will keep going like this, playing regularly with the first team and playing at this level, May United would be prepared to open talks again in the near future to improve his salary and to give Kobe what he deserves. But now, calma, step by step, keep going, and then in the future there will be no problem to discuss about contract, salary and more. But May United really feel that this boy is going to be part of their future plans, waiting, obviously, for the next step uh, on the 25% uh, minority stake sale, which is going to be a crucial part of the future of the club. And discussing about May United in the recent days, also, guys, I received many of your questions about the future of Mason Greenwood. We had some rumors about Getafe already prepared to bid for Mason Greenwood and uh, to have him on long term, about other clubs in Spain, including Valencia and others, thinking about the possibility to bid for Mason Greenwood, about May United uh, next uh, and future co-owner Serge Ratcliffe already discussing internally about the situation of Greenwood. Guys, from what I'm told, Serge Ratcliffe has made no decision at all about Greenwood now and nothing will be decided in December. So the idea is to take some time to let Greenwood play for Getafe where he is on loan and then in 2024 but probably in March, in April, in May not in uh, the January transfer window the idea will be to discuss the position of Mason Greenwood also based on the performances at Getafe based on many different factors and obviously on what the new board of Manchester United they will have a new CEO with Blanc as big favourite as I told you they will have new people in charge of the transfer market so they will decide all together on all these kind of things including Mason Greenwood but Sergio Ratcliffe has made no decision on that Yet, now for Sergio Ratcliffe, the focus is on the formal steps to buy Manchester United and then into this kind of stories, into this kind of details. So nothing has been decided. May United want Mason Greenwood to focus on Getafe, to perform, uh, to perform uh, there and do his best on loan and then to have the possibility to decide his future in 2024. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on Kobe Maino, on Mason Greenwood. I wait for your opinion here in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.